There are essentially three types of printers. There's dot matrix printers, inkjet printers, and laser printers. In the dot matrix printers, we're also counting the impact category. There's impact and non-impact categories. The reason that dot matrix are in the impact category is because they actually impact the paper. The way that it works, it, series, it fires a series of pins at a ribbon which make contact with the paper and it leaves a mark. The printhead um, contains a series of pins which move left to right across the paper line by line creating letters out of circular dots of ink that have impacted the paper. Pins shoot forward and strike the ribbon, causing the impact motion. The print quality is measured in the pins on each head. There's 9 pin, 24 pin, and 48 pin. The speed of the printer is measured in CPS, which is characters per second. Most of the time, dot matrix printers have a tractor feed paper where the paper simply continues to be fed through. Dot matrix printers have pretty much disappeared other than certain niche categories which are still using them and therefore they are still for sale but the price is more expensive than your common inkjet printer. Inkjet printers use liquid from ink filled cartridges and it forces it out and spray it onto the page through tiny holes called nozzles. Quality of inkjet printers is measured in dots per inch and the speed is measured in ppm which is pages per minute. There are two ways that the inkjet printers work. There's either thermal or piezoelectric and the thermal is just simply heat and the piezoelectric is electric current and they cause the ink to expand which causes the ink to spray out onto the paper through the nozzles. The last type of printer is the laser printer. Laser printers are mainly used for businesses because of their increase over in speed over the other kind of printers quantity and quality of the work that's produced. Laser printer quality is measured as dots per inch and the way that the printer works, it receives data from the page. It breaks the data down into single strips called rasters. This is called rasterizing. The laser printing process, originally depending on where you're looking, it can either start with cleaning or it can start with electrostatic discharging or conditioning. And what conditioning is, is when the entire drum is given an electrical charge, 600 volt charge by the corona wire. And this begins the laser printing process. Next we've got imaging or writing. And this is the laser printer using a series of mirrors. And the laser draws the image on the drum. So generally we would have a laser somewhere around here that would be drawing the image on top of the drum and that part of the image that is drawn is reduced to about a hundred volts. The next step is called developing and this is where the developer roller attracts toner from inside the toner cartridge. The developer roller is then passed across the drum where the ink sticks to the parts of the drum that have been exposed to the laser. So we would have a laser over here that would draw the image and the roller would be transferring the ink from the toner onto itself and then onto the drum. The actual transferring step is number four where the paper would be coming in and, and this is where the registering roller attracts the negatively charged toner from the front of the sheet. So as the paper passes through, it eventually gets to the fuser. And at this point, toner finally gets melted onto the paper. 
diffusing the paper and the toner at about 180 degrees Celsius. And then the paper is exerted outside of the printer. And usually you can feel that as it's coming out, it's pretty hot. And then after the process is completed, we've got the cleaning. And this is a step where the there's a rubber blade called the doctor blade. And it cleans off the remaining toner off the drum using a fluorescent lamp and it removes electrical charges that may remain on the drum. I'm just going to go through the process quickly once again. The paper would come in. We've got an area here where the drum is being cleaned off and then it goes through the corona wire. We've got a laser here that transfers the image electrically or magnetically onto the drum. The roller gets ink from the toner and then passes it onto the drum. The drum moves at a, around. The paper comes in and gets ma magnetically charged. The ink transfers onto the paper from the drum and eventually goes to the fuser where it's fused together producing your end copy of your document. Some laser printers use LEDs instead of a single laser to write the image onto the drum. These typically cost less than regular laser printers to manufacture and they also produce inferior results.